has been a big mistake. Hey Robbie, you've got mail. You better check your mailbox. Okay, Robbie, thanks, mate. What's the address? Post Office Box 3006, Yoranga LPO, Wangaratta 3677. G'day folks, as I said in the introduction, there's been a big mistake, and there has. I have got some awesome mail, and guess what? I already opened it, I already filmed it, I then formatted the memory card and lost it. I'm so bummed out. I'm really disappointed because I, uh, I opened these, I filmed a really awesome mail time segment. I then went to edit it yesterday and I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Then I realised it was still on the memory card and I formatted the memory card. So I downloaded some free uh, file recovery software. I couldn't restore it. I managed to restore it and get the files back, but they wouldn't play. So I paid $35 and bought the pro version of the uh, file recovery software. And I still couldn't get it back, so I blew 35 bucks, but at least I've got that software now if I, uh, if I need it in the future, if I format my card again, and hopefully that works better next time. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go and put an awesome letter back in this envelope, and then I'm going to tell you a funny joke, and then I'm going to do the mail time. <laughs> what do you call an Irishman that bounces off the walls? Ricochet. 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 Rick, ricochet, ricochet. First envelope. Hey Robbie, how are you mate? Hope you're well. This is Les from Pitbull Custom Lures. We spoke through Facebook briefly a little while back. Sorry these lures took a bit. I've had a lot on. These are a gift from me to you mate. Some small ones for your trout and redfin fishing and a large swim bait for if or when you may be chasing that big muzzer. I need to chase big fish more often. It's not something I do a lot of. I'm not going to ask for a shout out, but if you think it's worthy, I would appreciate it. Anyway, Robbie, take care, mate, from Pitbull Custom Lures. Les from Pitbull Custom Lures. Thank you very much, Les. This is how it works. If you're kind enough to send me a lure, I'm kind enough to give you a shout out. That's just how it is. There is always a, uh, the chance that the lures may not get used because I've just got so many lures because this little, uh, this part of the wall just here, they're all lures that have come to my mail time segment that I want to try and get around to using. Last year I, uh, well not last year, but just recently I launched a new program called Fishing with Mail Time Lures where I want to use these types of lures. I made two episodes before the fishing ban came in. Anyway, Les from, here can I go this way? There it is. There it is. I know what I'll do. I'll hold that one up there for you to see and I'll read one of the other ones because there's a few in here. Righto. What that says is, might be a little bit bright, is it? Pitbull, Pitbull Custom Lures. To contact me for orders or inquiries and to see our products, head to Pitbull Custom Lures on Facebook. I'm going to put one of these up on the wall here. I've got a little spot where I've been start, just started uh, pinning business cards. During this COVID lockdown, I've been cleaning up and organising my shed quite a bit, hence the uh, Mail Time Lures wall over there. And I've got a little business card area here. I found a couple. I've been sent quite a few over the years, but I've, uh, I've got to dig them out of drawers and stuff, and I'm going to add them to that thing. But anyway, one of them is going on that wall. Right, let's look at the lures. First of all, we'll look at the, uh, the trout and redfin ones. A trout and redfin pitbull custom lures. Yeah, look at that. That looks really awesome. It's got a ball bearing in it and a rattle. That's a jerk bait, is it? It hasn't got a bib. And a short little fat crankbait. That would work really well for redfin, no doubt about that. And trout. They're the trout and redfin lures. Now, because I've already opened this packet, I know what else is in it. Why do you see the Murray Cod swim bait? There it is. That is a Pitbull Custom Lures swim bait. Might be a little bit bright, is it? Let's see if I can just make things a bit darker. How about that. That is a. Uh, that is a Pitbull Custom Lures swim bait, orange swim bait. It's got a rattle in it. It looks awesome. I'm actually looking really forward to giving that a swim next year. 
I say next year because I don't know whether we're going to get a chance to go before the season closes with the way the, uh, the current restrictions are. But folks, there you go. Swim bait from Pitbull Custom Lures. How awesome is that? Thank you very much, Liz, for the awesome parcel and the awesome lures. Now, let's move on to the next mail time. Rightio, folks. Now it's time for the next one. This is from K Westcott. K as in letter K, not Kayleen. That's my mum's name. Hi mum. Mum watches my videos. I love you very much mum. My mum is one of the smartest people you'll ever meet. She is just, she loves to read and she's just one of those very, very wise, knowledgeable old ladies. Well she's not old. I said to her last week, Mum, if you need anything from the supermarket, let me know because the Victorian government said that people over 70 shouldn't be heading out into the community at the moment. So if you need me to go to the supermarket and pick anything up for you, let me know. And you know what she said? She said, Robbie, I'm not 70 until August, thank you. <laughs> anyway, to Robbie, I love your videos. Keep it up. You have inspired me to try and make my own videos. My channel name is KW Fishing. Radio, off the bat, there's going to be a link at the end of this video to KW Fishing YouTube channel. I've made four videos. Do you think I need to add a few more jokes? Any tips would be great. P.S. I don't know if you remember, but when Trally's Bendigo opened, I met you. I met you and I got you to sign your favourite lure, the old mate, and now it is hanging on my wall. It is hanging on my lure stand. Thanks again for being so kind and friendly, Kobe Westcott. That is so kind. And there's the photo, look. Now this might be a little bit on the bright side here. I don't know how I'm going to go with this. I reckon I'll be able to get this happen. There is a photo there of me and Kobe at, uh, at Trally's, when Trally's in Bendigo first opened. That was such a great day. That's such a great photo. Thank you, Kobe. That was a really good day when, they, when uh, Trally's first opened their Bendigo store. I went over there, Rod McKenzie went over there, we caught up with heaps of people, we spent all day talking, which is something that Rod and I are both very good at. It was just a fantastic day. KB, that is so nice of you. Thank you so much for the letter. And, and KW Fishing, you want some tips? Mate, I'm going to be making a video pretty soon about how to grow a fishing channel on YouTube. It's on my to-do list during this COVID-19 lockdown. So keep an eye out for that, that'll be coming out soon. But in the meantime, here's a couple of tips. The very first tip or the golden rule about making YouTube videos, in my opinion, is to always be yourself. Be who you would be. When you turn that camera on, don't do anything different. Don't act differently to what you do normally. Unless, of course, you swear a lot and you want to keep that out because it's got to be sort of viewer friendly. But as far as your personality goes, just document your adventure. Be yourself. I see a lot of people trying to be someone they're not, trying to be the experts, trying to mimic a bigger name, bigger profile YouTubers and stuff. And it doesn't work. For a good example, head to a channel called Pug Family Australia. I gave them a shout out a few weeks ago. They sent me a, co a coffee mug to my mail time, which I use nearly every day. But check out the Pug Family Australia because his channel, he's, a, he's an Aussie, he's got an Aussie accent, he talks like an Aussie, and he's just such a down to earth guy and he has got a very unique personality because when people subscribe to your channel on YouTube, they're gonna subscribe to your personality more than your ability to catch big fish. In, in all honesty, people don't care how good a fisherman you are. People don't care what you can achieve. They just want to be able to achieve it and they want to see you enjoying yourself doing it. Stay tuned for the video, mate, because I'm going to be making a video and I'm going to give out quite a few tips on how to grow a fishing channel on YouTube. So, folks, thanks very much to Les for the lures. Thanks very much to Kobe for the uh, letter and that great photo of you and I at Trellies. That was a fantastic day. Thanks for bringing back the great memories. And viewers, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, want to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.